What does a typical energy harvesting system look like? Uh, energy harvesting looks like on the extreme left, you find environmental energy, solar, thermal, vibration, etc., PV, and these are all the sources. Once you have these sources, these are like uh, you need to sense them. So you sense them using a, a energy harvester, harvest them. So take in whatever is available internally and then create and then supply it inside. How do you supply it inside? You use an AC to DC converter or a DC to DC converter. And this DC to DC converter allows you to get a high DC voltage and then you store this uh, energy. Now, uh, the energy storage uh, and the DC-DC conversion can typically kept in a loop or in a control loop where you sense what is the amount of energy storage, whether how you replenish it and uh, get the work done. So this control activity along with the DC-DC converter basically is called your power management or power conditioning circuit. And in this segment, you will see a lot of innovation and a lot of design challenges coming up. And this is the direction that most people have gone through. Now, energy storage also has become a great activity and a great research area. After the bring, uh, upcoming uh, market of electric vehicles, a lot of battery storage systems, uh, energy storage systems have come into the picture and various cell mechanisms have come in, right from lithium ion to lithium polymer to uh, the red acid batteries which were used prior to all our UPSs, etc. We are looking at dry batteries and wet batteries and we are going to use either a combination or just individually each of them to utilize all the energy harvested in your system, right? So now let us focus on uh, RF energy. 